are the concerns of the veterans in the New Hampshire area? Well, the major concerns are that they don't feel that they're getting the, the best primary care uh, that they deserve, and I agree with them. Uh, the primary care system in the VA, uh, particularly here in New Hampshire, is broke, and it needs to be fixed. And we need to allow our veterans to get the care they need uh, outside of the VA. We don't have a full-service medical center here, and I don't think we're going to get one, contrary to the promises of, of other um, of uh, Senator Hassan and, and, and Pappas. It's just not something that, that uh, they can get done. So we need to maximize the private medical system in order to get our veterans the care that they need closest to their home and uh, to help them and their families. Now with the inflation issue and the poor economy, we see a lot of the veterans that need assistance having to spend more of their own money for some of these private outsourced practitioners. What comes to mind as a solution? Is that the lowering the premiums, lowering the co-pays, or have y'all put together a policy that somehow curbs the effect of the economy on the veterans' cash flow? Yeah, well, you know, veterans are suffering just like everybody else, and there's way too many uh, unemployed veterans, way too many veterans that are uh, homeless, uh, and the incarceration rate is going up because of a concern that I've had, they get improper medical treatment on active duty and they become hooked on opioid crisis, on opioids, and then that gets shut off. And, or they're veterans and it happens to them as veterans, uh, and then they end up, uh, you know, uh, addicted to drugs and they end up committing crimes. And this could all be avoided if we just had a system in place that actually took care of their mental health, their physical health, and their spiritual health. And that's just not there. It, everywhere I go, that is what's missing. We have wonderful people that work in our VAs that want to help us. We have a broken system above that. And that's what needs to be fixed. A program's not gonna fix anything. Money is not gonna fix anything. Uh, the only way veterans and their families get care is if those programs actually work for them. And that's not what's happening right now. And we gotta bridge the gap from active duty, National Guard reserves, to our veterans. That's gotta be a warm handshake. There shouldn't be a bunch of paperwork. It should be automatic enrollment. And they should not be paying for these things. It, it should be paid for them. That's what they deserve. That's what they earned. Uh, and we gotta keep our promise to them. Well, General, people like you stepping up and putting yourself out there, that's what New Hampshire needs. That's what the United States needs. So thank you for taking the sacrifice and putting yourself out there to do what needs to be done. Well, I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, I'm going to go down there and work for you. And you will have full access to me, whether I'm your senator or not. Um, I will become known as everybody's senator in short order uh, because for veterans and their families, because I feel that strongly about fighting for you. And I won't send letters. I will go to the VA. I will go to the Department of Defense. I will get them in hearings and I will ask them the tough questions, not for political reasons, but for reasons that I feel are necessary to get them to do it. And I, as a veteran, know the questions to ask. Well, if anyone wanted to find out more information about you and your campaign or make donations or volunteer, where would they go? They need to go to DonBaldick.com. It's simple. Go to DonBaldick.com. Everything is there. Uh, any support that you can give me, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but uh, DonBaldick.com, or you can follow me uh, on Facebook, supporters of General Don Baldick, or at Jen Don Baldick on Twitter. So please follow me. Please share with me your concerns. I will work on them. God bless you. God bless you too.